Hello friends! Today I'll be setting up my bujo for February. This month's theme is the color red. I started out by setting up my monthly calendar. I decided to have a larger calendar like last month because I can get a little more use out of it and make notes throughout the month in the boxes when I need to. Outlining it in red pen was definitely the best choice, even though I wasn't too sure about it before I did it. I ended up really liking the look. Suzuki Aidi's first appearance this month is a large picture. I don't love this dress on her, but it was one of the few pictures I could find where she was wearing red. It was kind of surprisingly one of the harder ones to find for the month, like finding a, you know, a picture where she was wearing a lot of red or the red was the main theme. The rest of the spread is rather simple with just my tasks for the month and reminders of dates and appointments. I spelt February wrong here. I don't know how I made that mistake. It's going to bug me all month. I added this little Elmo meme at the bottom because it's one of those memes that makes me at least smile every time I see it and I really wanted to find a place for it somewhere just for fun. Week 1 has a very vintage vibe to it. As I mentioned in my 2020 flip through video, that happens to be one of my favorite aesthetics, vintage vibes. So here's Marilyn making another appearance. This spread turned out a little different than how I planned because I realized I didn't have any red colored washi tape that suited the vibe I was going for, so I had to use marker for the line at the top instead. And it's all pretty simple, nothing too fancy. I thought this little cutout of one of Donald Duck's nephews was a fun little touch. I'm trying to include more cutouts and such in my spreads to make them more visually interesting. In the past, I typically just stuck with pictures and I didn't even really cut them interestingly or anything like that. Just straight square rectangle pictures kind of thing, so it's been fun experimenting with the cutout sort of look. For week two, we start off with another picture of Irie. I really wanted the reds in this one to match her bright red dress as a lot of the pictures I chose for this month were more on the dark side of red.
I started using washi tape here, but I honestly don't love these ones. They're ones I got from Notebook Therapy, I think. Um, it might have been Kawaii Pen Shop, and it was a pack of all these different colored ones, but the patterns are pretty boring and they're not very sticky, so they come off pretty easily. They lift a lot and they are pretty transparent, so the colors don't pop by any means. So yeah, I definitely don't think I'd spend money on them again. I really only got them because they were pretty cheap. The two patterns for the ones that I'm using are flowers and circles. I wanted to add more doodles as I haven't been doodling much in my spreads these days, but I felt a little blocked as to how I should do it, so I ended up not just not doing much at all. On to the next week. Um, this one's a little bit of a darker red theme. When you look up red aesthetics on Pinterest, you get a lot of neon signs. I thought these pictures of Irie from the Concerto tour really suited the neon lights sort of theme, kind of like a showgirl sort of vibe. I love this little neon crown I added to her head, it ended up looking really cute. I struggled with where the heck to put this uh, No Music No Life Tara Records logo, but really it would have looked nice no matter where I put it, which was partially why it was so hard to decide. <laughs> I decided to try a new thing with the check boxes for the spread, so we'll see how I end up liking it. I normally just draw them out while I'm making my to-do list and not beforehand, so this is definitely um, a new thing for me. The final spread of the month is a little bit of a messy one. I wanted to find a use for this little blossom cutout and also this iry one and they ended up just being paired with some of the leftover pictures that didn't really fit into the other pages. It's not really what I had in mind when I chose these specific pictures. I envisioned cutting them out and you know, I, I it, it didn't really quite turn out with what I was thinking that they would be good for, but it turned out cute enough. Uh, I added another washi tape that's got different faces on it, like a smiley face and a mad face and a sad face along it, and uh, that was kind of a cute addition. The red is a little bit more of a pink tone as well. The other problem with these washi tapes when I bought them was they have like other colors, like the yellow ones aren't just yellow, there's green in them too, so it, I don't know, it just, they're, they're definitely not mm, my favorite purchase. I probably should have saved my money and gotten better quality ones, <laughs> but um... I went back and added some doodles to the week 3 spread. Uh, sorry about my hair getting in the way here. Using the red pen and then the marker over top kind of created somewhat of a neon light looking effect, so I was happy with how that looked.
I also added some more washi tape to week two since it felt a little lacking in some spots. And here's the final results. I really like the way this month turned out. I know I always say that because I usually <laughs> like them, but um, the way I envisioned the one color only spreads didn't really turn out since it actually is pretty hard to find a decent amount of pictures that are only one color. Uh, I guess I could put a filter over the pics so that then they're one color, but I feel like that would end up looking cheesy. If I wanted to do the one color only, I'd have to use less pictures in my spreads to make that concept work. But I do like the way these spreads have been turning out anyway, even if the idea and the execution isn't quite the same. It's allowed me to have pictures of Irie in my spreads, so that's always a plus. <laughs> I think my favorite spread is week two and three if I had to choose. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful February.